I remember this so vividly, I wrote to Rita about it. I was driving down a very iconic Southern California street with the 150 foot palm trees on both sides, the blue sky and the little puffy clouds. And I'm just driving down the street like in a movie. And it hit me that the way I was eating that day was the way I was gonna eat the rest of my life. And that thought filled me with joy because I loved how I was eating, that there was no end. This was not, I'm gonna do this for three months. I'm gonna do this till I lose this much weight. I knew that this was what I was gonna do for as God willing, as long as I could in my life. The food that I'm eating is far greater than any of the junk GAC food I ever ate when I weighed 185 pounds. So it's, it's not a diet. It's not a diet. It's a shift in lifestyle. And I've embraced it. And if I can embrace it, anyone can embrace it. The shift has been more of a lifetime strategy for me. Um, it's not a miracle cure, but, but it, then again, it really is. Uh, it's a more long-term understanding um, on an intellectual level and an emotional level of what it is I need to do to, to continue to feel good and continue to make progress. And how much weight have you lost? Um, I've lost probably about uh, 40 pounds altogether. Um, and uh, uh, more importantly, it feels permanent. And that's the difference. And I'm doing it with my wife, and that's really been wonderful for our relationship. Uh, I did I did the shift first, and when I got home, she just noticed that you know I was sort of dealing with food issues differently, um, and dealing with my life differently. And she got interested in it, and I said she ought to try it, and she kind of went, oh, I don't know, that's not my stuff. And I said, well, I'll pay for it. Go, you know, just go do it. And she loved it. She fell in love with it too. Um, and so it's, you know, we listen to the tapes together, we go walking every night together, bike riding. Uh, it's been great, it's been great for us. We've been married over 20 years, and it's the first time we've ever really both pulled in the same direction on something like this. We've each taken turns dieting our own ways separately, uh, but never with, you know, never together and never with this level of uh, um, personal satisfaction and accomplishment and, and a feeling of joint purpose. Monthly 240. Feels good. I look in the mirror and I say, I'm not dumpy. This is good. <laughs> I feel like, you know, like I'm healthy. I feel lighter. I feel more energetic. You know, it's just like you move. You move easier. You sit in the car. You don't feel like, oh, my stomach is pressing against my pants and I'm driving and I got, you know, you're in the car a lot. So this is a big deal. Especially if you're in Los Angeles, you know, you're, you're sitting in that car and you're feeling your gut press against your belt and this is uncomfortable. So, it's, you know, it's good. It's a really good thing. Before I shifted, I had a very negative self-image when I looked in the mirror. I, I would just look at myself and I would say, well, you're just an ugly guy. You know, and I don't know if other people would have thought that, but that's what I felt looking in the mirror. And, you know, and I look at older pictures of myself, you know, when I was younger, when I was in college, whatever, and I'd say, you know, I wasn't that bad looking back then. And now when I look in the mirror, and I look at those older pictures, I'm like, you know, I'm fairly close to that. All right, I've lost, you know, the hair is a little thinned out, up, you know, up here it's thinned out a little bit. There's some gray hidden in under there. Uh, but I, I look pretty close. And, you know, and then I have people who haven't seen me in ages and they come up to me and say, what? Wow, you look really good. Uh, did you lose a lot of weight? And I go, you look like, or like I went to this reunion and everyone's like, you look just like you were in high school. You know, and they're like mad at me. And I say, well, if you know what your number is, you should be able to work with your caloric number and with hypnotherapy sessions to help you put it all together and make it effortless. I've maintained the weight loss for a year 
and I love it. I love the fact that I don't ever deprive myself and I continue to um, problem solve. I like working with my inner coach. She's very fair and um, it's great. I would recommend it to anybody. And I think one lunchtime she'd done the hypnosis and <laughs> she'll tell you this too, that I get up after the, uh, and I don't have lunch and I'm walking around the track and I'm just like, <laughs> so there is something to hypnosis. I'm just, I'm doing laughs around the track and I haven't walked that much in years. So that's what's very good about uh, Rita's techniques is that you just go back to one of them and go, okay, let's do the calories today and let's exercise. I won't stop exercising. I walk all the time now. I do the, um, uh, I walk two miles a day at least every day and I've got my pedometer. I put it in the internet and I check it out. I'm, I'm not quite as much as I used to because I was walking like three, four, ten miles going up to the Hollywood sign and doing all this stuff, but I still keep the walking up. And I have just a whole different uh, energy level and appreciation, actually. For food tastes better, actually, and you don't need as much. And there, it just, everything's kind of, the puzzle fits, you know. Before, the puzzle didn't kind of fit together. And then meeting her, it was just really quite, uh, quite miraculous and quite a blessing, actually. It was deprivation before. Now there's no thought of deprivation. It's just balancing. So I quit smoking with Rita while I was at the beginning of my shift program. And I was quitting, I quitting smoke, I quit smoking and I lost weight because I was shifting. And it wasn't difficult at all. That's crazy. And to me the shift is more so, yes it's a weight loss thing and it's about food, but it's more of a head trip because the head trip was that I can be okay with that and then when I'm ready continue back on the weight release part and that to me was profound. So I just if I want to have a hamburger I'll go out and have a hamburger and I'll just try and eat a little bit less and work out a little bit harder and those are the lessons that most I think most people know and that's how they're able to be thinner or healthier people but for some people that's not an easy concept to grasp, so you have to kind of learn how to do that. And that's what the shift has helped me do. I mean, the, the diet head place isn't a good place at all because I feel like it's something that you're on versus something that you are. So the shift place for me is just something that I am. It's a, it's a place that I, I live every single day. It's a journey that I'm on. The diet place would see a lot of criticism in what I would do so if I ate you know a couple of french fries at the end of the day it wasn't <laughs> gonna be a good day uh, for me I would hate myself at the end of it wake up in the morning and still feel bad in the shift place I can have a couple of french fries because I love them and <laughs> at the end of the day I just calculated in and if I ate a little bit more than I wanted to or my goal was for that day that's okay tomorrow I'll either work out a little bit harder or just say okay I accept the fact that I ate 100 calories worth of french fries, my life is going to be okay. And I don't have to keep eating to make up for it and make myself feel better for how bad I made myself feel. That makes sense. <laughs> which it actually doesn't, which is why dieting doesn't work. That's not woo-woo. That's, that's fundamental as far as I'm concerned. And what Rita offers is so simple and yet it's so deep and it's so rich and in that way it's so unlike it's so unlike anything out there, and God knows I've tried. And I feel secure and confident that, you know, this is my lifestyle, and it's not gonna change. So that is huge. It was kind of magical, really. Um, I've tried so many other programs, and nothing, you know, ever worked for very long. I wanted to do it. You know, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, um, I wanted everything to be just so. It was easy to stick to. I was never hungry. And uh, I, I never, you know, I've never lost weight and found it so easy, especially in the, in the beginning, the first year. And how much did you lose? I lost 70 pounds. I've, I've read a lot about eating disorders and know a lot about food issues, and I... I knew a lot about a lot of things. I mean, I know CBT, I know all the didactic stuff, I know how many calories things have, 
Um, I know about hypnosis, but I never had all those things all together in one package. And I think for me what it was was the combination of all those um, techniques together that finally worked. And, you know, I had tried keeping food journals before, but I never was successful. I'd go for two days, three days, and then I'd stop. But this time, with the combination of the hypnosis and all the suggestions and the, all the different techniques, I was able to keep writing my food down. I've been doing it for five months, even on vacation. I would come home from work. I would kind of get my to-do list done, and then I'd sit in front of the television or be on the phone or, you know, or, but I didn't actually start to move my body until after the shift and then I realized that now I can really I can go for two three hours where my contemporaries are like so tired and so sweaty and so not able to even kids that are much younger than me just still don't have the stamina and I think that feels really good just to have the stamina so um, well my friends are what my dearest friends are like really supportive of, of the whole effort and they just can't tell me enough how it wasn't so much that I lost the weight and kept the weight off and now look it really was about making a decision to be healthy and taking control of my life and seeing it sustained over a really long period of time and a lot of them have now started to do it um, realizing that it really is not that big of a deal to make a good choice that you're not really depriving yourself of really anything by not taking that candy bar, that cookie, or that, or that In-N-Out burger, or those french fries, that you're not really depriving yourself, and it's not a reward. And, it, and, and I think connecting the brain to the heart to the soul, I think, is what the shift did.